Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about the patent or not to patent an invention. Now particular invention, whether we can patent it or not, we cannot patent it. That is what we are going to decide. Okay, discuss. So once an invention has been developed, imagine you develop a particular invention or a product. Okay, the, now you are the inventor. Okay, now you have to decide whether to exploit the invention for a personal benefit as provided by the statutory laws of the country or put it in the public domain. So it's up to you whether you want to make money out of it. The entire sentence just is speaking about that, whether you want to make money out of it or you just want to give it in the public, like how the polio vaccine being done. We all know that polio vaccine, we, every human being needs that. This polio vaccine was not actually when the the vaccine was developed by the inventor or uh, he made it to public he could have earned millions or billions of dollars with it but he understood that if i go start doing business then many people almost 60 percent of the people who are a poor class might not get this vaccine they might end up losing or becoming handicapped all these things that is why he made it to public okay and some cases you will not have an option for example imagine there is some break is i mean like outbreak is happening like how uh, it happened with the co vaccine kind of stuff and all during that time you cannot make it as uh, you know you cannot say you cannot say that i will use this for uh, you know i sell it for so many billion dollars all those things and all you have to go for the you have to sell in a public domain that means because the that will be like emergency situations and the lives will be at stake and during that time the inventions will automatically become uh, into a public okay so you understood no so whether the particular things to be patented or not patented uh, it has to be decided by the inventor but in some cases the inventor will not have the options as uh, the entire public might needs it okay so by and uh, large the inventor prefers the former option usually he goes for the personal benefits he usually wants to earn money that's why he has invented so only a um, uh, miscal or you can say very less people okay of inventors they they place their invention at the public domain without claiming any benefits like for your vaccine what i explained in the latter case what happens that means in the case of the putting your invention into the public so societal benefits without paying any money to the inventor the, uh, this innovation can be made the commercialization so you will not have any benefits as a uh, inventor understanding it's simple now you got one product you got a patent for it it's a new thing okay that product is it's you you have to take a call whether you want to earn money from it or whether you want to put it in a public okay so if at all you want to make money sell it for a you know company or make your own startup company start doing it if at all you don't want imagine you feel every human being needs this then it's better to go for the public domain in some cases in during emergency situation as i just informed you during that time you, you, even though you invented it even though you got a patent okay but because of the emergency or outbreak or this pandemic situations and all you will not be given the complete royalty maybe government will buy your patent but they will not find the what do you say you cannot earn a lot of money out of it okay so that will be put it in a uh, what do you say uh, in, uh, for commercial purposes and as well as societal benefits without paying any money to the inventor so if the owner of the invention wishes to seek monetary gains that means you want money out of it okay he can choose from either of the two options that is patenting or trade secret imagine you can have a monetary say patent lasts for how many year only 20 years after that it will become public in uh, it will become in public okay that means anybody can copy your product after 20 years so if you feel that i like long i have to use this particular thing for example i want to have 
I want to use this product. Uh, I want this product to should be in my name itself, or I want to earn until my death or later after that also. Then you have to go for the trade secret. Okay, there is a difference between patenting and trade secrets. Trade secret, for example, you might have known the KFC chicken. It has got a trade secret. Okay, and Mysore Pak. It has got a trade secret. And then Darwad Peda. It has got a said trade secret. These all are what geographical indication but along with them they come under trade secrets that means you have got something which is uh, uh, which you wanted to use it for may, more than 100 years okay like that so then you can go for the trade secrets now you know patenting 20 years trade secrets can go up to 100 years so if the inventor is absolutely sure of maintaining the secrecy of the invention for a very long period if he thinks that i will maintain this secrecy of my product i will not reveal it and uh, what do you say the uh, any nobody can do uh, 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 you know re-engineering and uh, uh, make that particular product if that kind of confidence is there with me then i can go for this particular trade secret it may last for maybe 100 years or more okay and the probability of reverse engineering of the technology should be nil okay or it should be very low then only the trade secrets category is preferred because imagine if it is reverse engineered what happens you there is no meaning of going for trade secrets only people will come to know how you made it you should be able to have that secret for a long time then only you can go for what the trade secret category if the invention has a short lifespan or can be kept secret only for a small period of time or like couple of years and so or the probability of reverse engineering is very high once the invention is in the public domain then the patent category is preferred okay imagine this product is there until you release it to market it is a secret it is kept secret once the uh, it is released to market that uh, product again it will uh, imagine anybody reverse engineers and makes it you will be in loss no so those kind of stuff you can go for a short period that is patenting so short period is patenting and uh, longer time you can go for trade secrets so what you should have you should have in your mind or you should have so much confidence that you will maintain the secrecy okay Next topic we are having rights associated with patents that we will discuss in the next class.